Hello Year 10, welcome back to Food Technology. This is going to be the introduction and instructions for your next task, which will be scheduled to come up onto Google Classroom on Monday. So at the moment, you're looking at it in a draft mode, but it will be um, pushed out on Monday morning. So you need to go to the Classwork tab and we're looking at the graded task, Sensory Analysis. And this is a document in here. So open it, click on the document, and you should be looking at this. So this will be a document that you can type straight into. Okay, so everybody will have their own individual copy. Please fill in your name, surname, and I have already done my name. And then the very first part is the assessment rubric. So essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be writing a sensory analysis reflection or essay, they're the same thing. Okay, and this is how I'm going to be marking it. So there are five areas, completion of activities, use of, um, use a variety of vocabulary words and punctuation, punctuation, understanding of sensory analysis knowledge, structure of a paragraph appropriately and structure of reflection with introduction body and conclusion so this is about the essay structure and each section is worth five marks okay so going down we have um just introduction um information so we're looking at what is sensory analysis um and then in the box under each question that i would like you to answer is where you're going to put your response okay so now we start to talk about what are sensory properties and they're broken up into four sections when it comes to sensory analysis so we're looking at appearance aroma taste and texture okay and what i want you to do is in this second question is just respond to what you think sensory analysis is in your own words based on what you've just read Continue down the page and then we're just going to quickly recap or review what are the four sensory properties. Just list them here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go into a little bit more detail and I actually want you to name them. Okay. So there's no excuse for getting these wrong because they're written right here. So I want you to actually describe them for you. So what is appearance in relation to the sensory properties and sensory analysis? Okay. What is aroma? What is taste? What is texture? Okay. Then what I want you to do is in question five, I want you to look at and think about some words that could be appropriately used for each of the different properties to describe a food. Okay. So what type of words would we use to describe the appearance of something? So we would be looking at color and shape. Okay. Okay aroma obviously we're looking at the smell of it so things like burnt bland sweet those types of words okay so this just has to be dot point does not need to be in sentences continuing down this is where you're going to actually start to think about um, your reflection and your essay so you are going to um, choose a favorite food or meal or dish and write a sensory analysis on that food product and these sensory, um, sorry, these sentence starters are to help you plan your essay slash reflection. So you can actually copy and paste your definition for sensory analysis from previous pages, okay, straight into here. If it needs to be worded a little bit clearer, or it needs a little bit more information, then that's your chance to put that in there. So this sentence starters are set up so that we have teal going down the length here okay appearance is so this is going to be the topic sentence then we have um evidence what are the three main points i'd like to make in the paragraph um a great example of sensory property of appearance is and then we're going to put that in there appearance is an important part of sensory analysis because and then you're summing up that paragraph okay so go through and you're going to have each paragraph about a different sensory property 
four sensory properties, four paragraphs. So we have appearance, aroma, taste, and texture. Okay. And then you're going to do your conclusion. Now, one of the things that I need to talk to you about is um, this um, kind of extension question. Okay, so in your conclusion, I'm looking for you to explain to me why do you think sensory analysis is important and for you and me as in regular everyday people and then the extension question, which is actually written down a little bit further here. Why or how is sensory analysis used in a different food in different food contexts? And what's that referring to is food manufacturers. So companies like Uncle Toby's, Peter's, Mars, Allen's Lollies, um, anything like that, any food manufacturing company, why would sensory analysis be important for them? That's what I want you to answer in your conclusion. Okay, so you can talk about why sensory analysis is important for you and me and then the broader question would be what about other food contexts what about food manufacturers why is it important for them and I would like you to explain that so using the sentence starters um, table is really for two things one if you find writing an essay or reflection quite intimidating and you're not very good at writing this is a way to break it all up and make it more clear for you. Second, if you are actually really good at writing and you don't have an issue with starting a written piece, this is actually going to still help you to make sure you have your clear, concise ideas and that they're written in an orderly and um, flowing way. So um, this then becomes a planning document. Okay, so if you use a different template to plan an essay writing you can use that but then I would like you to attach that to this um, assignment and when you hand it in it's there as well so I can see what your planning method was okay so I'm totally fine with that so then what you're going to do is you've done all the work in this table okay You've planned it all out. You've got lots of writing in here. You've got all your ideas. This is just a reflection on how the teal works. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down to here. Okay. Where it is bolded and underlined. And you're going to start writing your essay right here. Okay. And you can cut and paste from your sensory analysis table or planning document straight into here. Okay. And then that will just keep going until you have finished it. I am going to be adding some examples of sensory analysis from other students um, in this up on Google Classroom for you. And I'm also going to add some videos that explores the different ideas about sensory analysis and food manufacturers. So there will be some supporting material for you as well. All right, so there, this, this credit task will be posted on Monday and you'll have um, two weeks basically to get this done. And if I'm finding that everybody has got it done and completed, then we might cut that time a little bit shorter and we'll see how we go um, because I'm trying to get all the written, as much as the written and theory stuff done for this course out the way while we are at home so that when we come back to class in fourth term we can just get on with cooking and doing prax okay with not a lot of theory stuff um, so that's my plan behind this so I wish you well if you have any questions about this please remember that you can ask bye